Hi, welcome back. This is Rupesh and you are watching CVP Nuts video series on STL CDs and this video is about STDQ. So yesterday we saw a DQ and before that we saw map set. So we have covered so many things. Now this is the time for Q. So if you're thinking that we have this STDQ to solve our traditional Q problem, then you are correct because let's suppose this is your front of the Q and this is a rare part. So we have studied Q in our data structure and algorithm classes. And what is the point of learning this data structure? Actually, it is a FIFO data structure. First in, first out. So the point is, whichever goes first will come out first. So now can you see this? C++ have solved our problem here. Can you put any data type? Yes, it can have any data type like user defined data type it can have vector map you can imagine right why i'm emphasizing on this because the biggest problem was to implement q for different different data types so now you can have the same q and just data type you have to provide and it will work for you so the point is stdq class is a container adapter that gives the programmer the functionality of a q and the functionality of q means you can use these functions like you can push but it will push only in the rare part and if you are popping out it will only pop out from the front so this is what the rule of the queue is right it will check whether it is empty or what is the size of it you can actually access the element let's suppose it is one two three four and five and we have further so and for now just assume that this is the last element so if you will do front you will actually get this one and if you will do back you will get the last one don't tell me that in q you can only get the first one actually in q you can pop from the front meaning you can only remove from the front removing means this one will no longer be there but you cannot remove two, three, four, or five. You can only remove one. So this is the rule of this data structure, okay? But you can access the element of Q only if it is front and rear because you have these two functions, front and back. And the next point is Q is a FIFO. That's what I said, we all know that. Second point is STDQ provides only specific set of functions. Yeah, these are the functions it provides. And STDQ allows to push, means insert, at back and pop meaning remove from front. So let's go to the program and see how it works. So if I'll compile this, compile it, compile successfully, execute it. Okay, I have not, oh my goodness, I have just forgot to call this print, right? Q-U-E. Okay, I don't know why I forgot this. I mean, how I forgot this. See, we are getting E and D L. Let me compile this again and execute this C, two, three, four. So you have created Q object and now you can push. So if you are pushing two, three and four in this order, then two would be in the first place. This is going to be the second place and this is going to be at the third place. So that's how we are getting here, right? Now, this is very important. Don't think that you can iterate over Q like how we do in different containers. No, it is not like that. Now pay attention. It is actually, you have to get the first element because you can only get the first element or remove the first element. So what I'm doing is I'm printing the first element because front will give me the first element of the queue. And after that, I'm popping out. So as I said, this will remove from the front. So once it is removed, now Q front would become three now. Okay, before it was two. So it will check that, okay, Q is empty. No, it's not because I'm putting this condition here will still come inside and now this time if I'll put front it will give me three so that's how I'm getting two three four and after popping out the last element which is this one I will obviously have list as empty and this loop will over so this is how you actually iterate over Q you don't have the traditional like you can iterate over the map and all those container like vector or set but this is different okay so you have to remember this so now if you ever need to use Q, you will always go for STDQ. 
you will not implement your own queue because these functions are well-tested functions. So it's not needed that you should go for your own queue and implement your own stuff. We can use these library provided data structure and we can speed up our coding, right? So with this, thanks for watching guys. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you are new to this channel so that you can get the notifications for upcoming videos like this. I'll see you in the next videos guys. Take care. Ta-da. Bye-bye.